Hi, I'm Reverend Jake Zabe, and welcome to Children's Bible Stories. Alright children, on today's Bible story we're going to be doing the story of the calling of the prophet Isaiah. So Isaiah was serving in the temple, which means Isaiah would have had to be a Levite from the tribe of Levi, and he was serving in the temple and that's when he got a vision. And in his vision, he saw God sitting on his throne. And with him, there were angels, the seraphim. The seraphim means burning ones, means they look like they were on fire. And the seraphim were described as each having six wings, two which they covered their faces, two which they covered their feet, and two which they flew with. And so the seraphim flew around in the temple and they were praising God, singing, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And that's where we, in our Sunday service in church, we get the sanctus, meaning holy, because the angels sang the song, Holy, holy, holy. And we sing that during part of the communion liturgy. And as they were sitting there, Isaiah cried out and he says, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. My eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. So Isaiah, he knew he was unholy. He was a sinner. He was unclean and unholy, and he didn't deserve to be here in the presence of God and his angels. And so, one of the seraphim went over to the altar in the temple, and using some tongs, he picked up a burning coal and he went and he touched it to Isaiah's lips and purged away his sin and made him holy. And he purged his lips and made him clean so that Isaiah could now speak for God. Even though Isaiah was a sinner, God had now cleansed his lips so that when Isaiah went and preached, he'd be preaching God's word. This is similar to how us pastors we're sinners just like Isaiah, but we are given God's word to preach. And why, even though us pastors are unholy, God's word remains holy. That's why pastors, we actually, we have our black outfits that the pastor wears, and that's to represent the pastor's sin, but then the pastor always has the little white collar around his neck. And the white represents God's holiness, and it's around the pastor's neck to show that even though the pastor is sinful, the words the pastor is speaking is still God's word, and that's holy. And so that's why Isaiah had his lips purified with the hot coals. That even though Isaiah was sinful, now his mouth would be made clean to preach the word of God, which was holy and pure. And while Isaiah was standing there, God turned to the angels and he said, Whom shall I send? Who will go out for us? And that's when Isaiah said, Here I am, Lord. Send me. And God told him to go and to preach to his people. And that, children, is the calling of Isaiah. I've been your host, Reverend Jake Zabel. Goodbye and God bless. <laughs>